Did y'all know that Biogenesis states that life can only come from life, yet other scientific theories show that life came from non-life? How about that, huh? Now we're going to talk about abiogenesis, which is the idea that life can form from non-living material, which has been proven wrong for over 200 years. The law of biogenesis does not state that life can only come from life. It actually disproved God believed in creationism since it showed that complex life cannot be spontaneously generated, fully formed. One of the most compelling reasons why many think God belief is needed and justified is that they feel life can't come from non-life, or that consciousness can't come from non-consciousness, or that intelligence can't come from non-intelligence. And because those things can't supposedly occur naturally, they need a supernatural explanation. The origin of life can be answered in one simple sentence. Life came from chemicals, and chemicals made life. This is verified by the fact that life is chemically based. The route by which this occurred is known as the process of emergent properties. Chemical agents in and of themselves don't have what we call life. But through organic evolution, chemical evolution, and cellular evolution, they can systemically host the property of life even though the chemicals themselves don't have that property. A verifiable and self-evident example of how the process of emergent properties works is color. Elementary particles such as protons or electrons have no color. It is only when they are arranged in atoms that they absorb or emit specific wavelengths of light and thus be said to have a color. In the exact same way, chemicals from which life is composed of, made from, and originated by, of themselves are not alive. But when they are combined or arranged in a specified way, they emerge with the property of life where in and of themselves they don't have that property. Consciousness also originated from non-consciousness through the process of emergent properties. Cells in and of themselves don't have what we term consciousness, but when combined and arranged in a specified manner, they can host the function of consciousness even though the cells themselves don't have that functionality. Another example of how the process of emergent properties works is friction. Elementary particles are frictionless, or more precisely, the forces between these particles are conservative. However, friction emerges when considering more complex structures of matter whose surfaces can absorb energy when rubbed against each other. Intelligence, or in this context, human-like intelligence, also originated from non-intelligence in the same way consciousness arose from advanced network cells. Again, the cells do not have intelligence in and of themselves, but the cellular agents can form more complex behaviors as a collective.